Hi everyone, uh, welcome to ENGL 2020 for the fall of, um, I'm sorry, it's ENGL 220. I keep making that mistake uh, because the course is 220 and the year is 2020. So um, the course, uh, uh, so let me back up. Welcome to ENGL 220 for the fall of 2020. Um, so this is a creative writing course. Um, Many of you I know are taking this because it's a uh, writing intensive course. And so I want to go through uh, in this first video and just talk about what it is we're going to be doing in this course, how I think about this course, um, uh, just to give you an overview of uh, how we're thinking about things. So as uh, I mentioned, this is a writing course, intensive course. I know a lot of you know that that's one of the reasons that you take it since you're required to have a writing intensive course. And many of you think, well, why don't I take uh, uh, creative writing? That sounds maybe interesting or easy enough or something like that. Um, and so uh, uh, we've got some requirements here for the writing intensive course. I won't read them uh, uh, in detail, but I do just want you to know that they're here. I'm reading from the syllabus, by the way. You've got the syllabus uh, in Blackboard, um, and so you can open it up anytime you want. Um, but it's just, you know, be clear that uh, a writing intensive course means you'll spend time during the semester writing in the service of learning, right? Uh, you need at least 10 pages to form evaluated writing. I mean, um, and so we've got all these things that we need to do in talking about writing. And so the idea is that um, you should have a course, uh, you should have multiple courses beyond just your uh, regular required 101 and 102 courses that focus on writing. And that's what we're kind of doing here. Um, and so this is uh, specifically, as I said, uh, a creative writing course. Uh, and if we scroll down here to the description, I say here that um, uh, uh, ENGL 220 is a class that introduces writers to elements of poetry, fiction, drama, and creative nonfiction, which is kind of like a personal essay. Uh, this semester you will create works in all of these genres. Uh, genre is like a, you know, a, a particular type of uh, literature, type of writing. Uh, and you'll present your work to the class. For most of you, this will be the only time you write creatively. So my goals for this cat class go beyond having you write the perfect story, poem, or play. Instead, my main goals for this course are to help you, one, explore your feelings and experiences in a way that will help you understand your connection to society, uh, two, practice expressing yourself as clearly and as accurately as possible, Three, understand how words, sounds, and visual images we encounter every day can inspire new ideas. And four, gain a better appreciation of how literature helps us make sense of ourselves and the world around us. So I understand, you know, I'm, uh, my specialty is creative writing. That's something I spend a lot of time doing. I understand that most of you will not spend a lot of time beyond this class necessarily. Um, writing creatively. I encourage you to if you're interested in uh, in, in that. Um, and some of you might decide to take this up, might decide to uh, um, uh, uh, pursue this uh, in some kind of detail. But most of you will not. And so what I'm looking at for this class, again, are these other kinds of ideas, right? I want to, again, I want you to be a better writer uh, uh, generally, but I also want you to think about how we can use our writing to explore some of these uh, larger issues in here. So. Um, uh, just keep that in mind that, uh, you know, that I've got these other kinds of uh, goals in mind uh, and that will inform on some level the kind uh, of assignment. So the goal isn't if you're, you know, at all concerned, like, you know, I don't can't write a poem. Well, my goal isn't for you to write the best poem ever. Uh, my goal is for you to think about what a poem does, uh, to think about on some level how it operates, uh, to gain some appreciation uh, for why poetry uh, uh, might be important, to understand something about how you use language uh, uh, carefully, um, all of those kinds of things. So the poem isn't, you know, the most perfect poem ever. That doesn't matter, right, as long as you learn these other things. So uh, just keep that in mind that that's how I'm kind of thinking uh, about the class, that we have things that go beyond specifically uh, uh, writing creatively. Um, and then if you look up here, we've got um, the overview of the class structure. Um, and that's somewhat covered in the uh, information uh, about Blackboard. But just to let you know that assignments for each week will be posted in Blackboard. And each week there'll be a video explaining exactly what you need to do. And if you have any questions about the assignments, you can email, call me, or post to the Ask Me Anything discussion board. So uh, um, just understand that uh, um, I will be coming to you every week with a, a video like this. Um, and then you will have the opportunity 
uh, to be able to ask me any questions uh, that you have about the assignments. So that's kind of the overview of how I want to think about this. Again, I think about this on some level as a, as a fun course, um, a course where you can explore uh, um, uh, ideas and, and your own experiences uh, and kind of think about how those, those might be important. So I hope that it's going to be uh, uh, fun and interesting, uh, that is, and uh, all that fun and interesting stuff will be built upon this idea of trying to make you, uh, in general, a better writer and uh, a better communicator. Um, oh, let me just say one thing that a lot of our work will be done through a, um, uh, uh, a program called Digication, which makes these things that kind of look like websites. And you'll see, I'll, I'll have a video where I talk about that. But I wanted to mention that because um, the, one of the reasons I use that program is that I want you to um, uh, uh, get used to presenting yourself digitally. Um, that is a thing that we all need to do to we present ourselves online and how do we do that in a way that's professional how do we kind of organize uh things digitally in terms of uh, visual images along with text uh, and so that's something that we're going to be doing uh, to present our work but i'll explain that more later but i just want to get that out here now because again that shows this other element that i have to the class that i want you to be able to express yourself in that fashion um, so uh, that's the general overview of what i'm looking to do here uh, and then you can go and look at the other videos as well